Hello there. What is going on everybody? Today we're going to be looking at a new product from Battle Foam called the Magna Rack Sliders. Now you may have already seen my review about two years ago for the Magna Racks. Uh, I've been using Magna Racks for quite a while and basically they are magnetic compatible trays, really, really firm, heavy duty, and it's this whole cool system. We'll take a look at these first so you can kind of understand uh, where what my storage solution was for miniatures beforehand, and then we're gonna kind of gravitate into the sliders and what they kind of do to this system and how they improve it. Very, very cool system, so I was very, very excited to, to actually get these. I pre-ordered the Magnarack sliders from Battle Foam at Gen Con, and uh, I always like you know, talking to people at conventions and like putting pre-orders in a lot because a lot of times you get that little convention discount, which is always nice. But uh, but yeah, also you get to see this stuff in person and I've definitely had my eye on these for a while ever since uh, trying out the first Magnarax. Really cool storage system if you like to magnetize your miniatures as I definitely do, especially for Star Wars Legion. So uh, before we jump into those though, if you are new here to the channel, let me remind you there is still time to enter the big $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. Uh, let me know what your favorite miniatures game is and if you magnetize or not. So uh, that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this and take a look. All right, so here you've got the original Magna Rack, and uh, the slider isn't too different than this, but uh, there's some key changes. But I want to kind of just show you guys, in case you hadn't seen, uh, basically the Magna Rack is a shelf, and it's all metal, and it's a really, really good metal for, for magnetization. So um, just for an example, here is uh, Ninja or Jedi Leonardo. Um, magnetized with a six millimeter by two millimeter neodymium magnet on the bottom like I do with all of my minis and uh, there we go it sticks right there right um, and it holds them perfectly like he's upside down I'm shaking him I'm, I'm, I'm pounding him against the table and there's I paint on this table so I apologize for that but but yeah so you can see like he ain't coming off right really good seal. I used to have a solution where I uh, had painted on some, some wood and I built a solution out of wood with magnetic paint. And you know, it, it held them mostly in place, but it wasn't, it wasn't that good. They'd still shift around a little bit. Like I can put all my minis on this tray and like bring them out into the dining room if I'm gonna be playing in the house, or I can even like have a whole army on this tray, set it on the passenger seat of my car or on the floorboards of my car, drive to a game store, nothing is gonna move. Now, naturally, if something falls on it, then that's a totally different case. And they have, they have cases uh, that actually keep this entire enclosure uh, because this can work together. Now this one, I've had this one for years and I have put some minis on here that weren't totally dry. Um, so you're gonna see little circles and stuff on there. It's, it's held up pretty good. I've had it for over two years now, but you can see that in these little holes, there's this whole system of, of uh, you know, uh, of these rods and they have them in all different sizes so you can it's the system is totally modular so you can build them uh in, into a whole different shelving system and uh and they go together real easy and you can customize it however you want which is really cool so i can just stick this in here um but before i do that let me also show you the bottom because you've got this really good plastic that is reinforced and it's not you know it's really heavy duty um these things are pricey but you're also getting, you know, really top of the line quality because this goes together. It's it's a little, it's not easy um, to to take it apart once it's together because it locks in really firm. I mean, you can get it apart. It's not super difficult, but it's you need two hands. Like it's not just it's not going to just fall apart on you. There we go. So now we've got this thing. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. All right, so we're zoomed out a little bit, and I just wanted you to see like a, a, a simple unit kind of put together. And they have different types. They have this is the largest one they have, but they have some smaller ones, and they have different packages that you can get. But um, I kind of went with the big, big package because I have a lot of minis, and I buy just about everything for Legion, so I wanted places to put everything. Right. So with that being said, uh, my one complaint with this system was that I had to use the biggest legs here. So this way, if I had this whole tray lined with miniatures, like what, what happens if I need one that's in the middle, you know, I have to like try and reach my hand in there to get them. Uh, and it made it virtually impossible to use with like the two inch pegs because you could, there's no room for you to reach your hand in. So you'd have to start using your fingers and pulling them out and then pulling them out and then, you know, using something like this to try to, try to get them out. So 
there really was no good option to use these uh, with the original Magna Racks unless you just wanted something in maybe the front the front line, or you were storing stuff in the back that you just weren't going to need access to. Like maybe like, you know what? I'm never running stormtroopers again. Let me push all the stormtroopers in the back. I might use them next year or something like that, but I'm not gonna need them for a while. So that's kind of what I would use the shorter ones for. And you can get all kinds of extra um, trays. And I've bought, I have purchased like additional kits with extra legs and there's different sizes. And you can even like put some of them together to like make that one like a, a middle size. You can put two of the twos together. You, you can do a lot of stuff with this system to build your own custom type of shelving. And as a gamer who has a lot of shelves and a lot of stuff that I don't like to, I don't like to like pack these in boxes. I like to keep my minis on display. So shelf space for me is at a premium uh, because I have a small house, so I don't have that much room. So having like a, sh a shelf placeable item that is also its own shelves gives me a whole lot of flexibility. So I just, I loved this, but for the original, Magna Racks, I had to go with a, a, a taller one. And you can do multiple tiers, though. You know, you can tack, stack these on top and then and then do more and, and all of that. And I ended up having a couple of these. And if you've seen this on my older videos, I've had them kind of behind me on my shelves. Well, I have a new system now. Uh, but before I show you the new system, let me show you now, the purpose of this video, what the Magna Racks sliders bring to the table. All right, so this is a, a unit of Magna Racks sliders built. Now, I bought a, a really big, uh, set of units, so uh, like I've and, I, and I've reconfigured them in multiple ways because that's totally what you can do. Uh, the set I bought was more than just four shelves, and you can totally mix and match these with the original Magna Racks. As a matter of fact, when you buy a set of sliders, the very top, uh, the the top tray you're going to get is an original Magna Rack because uh, basically what they do is they slide out. So here we go. Look at that. That's brilliant, right? So now all of a sudden, I can use my two inch. Uh, I, you know, normally I would have never been able to reach in there and get some of those guys from the back. But now since I can just pull them out, I can get all the way to the back. And that's awesome. Um, and even with the bottom row here, and there's just a little bit of a lip. So if it's, if it's the very bottom row, if you can't get underneath it, because they pull out real nice from underneath, uh, you can also pull from the top. And there we go. I've got my CMAC, I've got my Emperor's Royal Guard here, right in the back. And oh, by, did, I, did I mention they're totally removable? So I can pull this whole tray out, take it with me, and slide it back in. Okay, let's take a closer look at how that works. All right, so here we go. See, there's a little bit, see how there's this groove right here? Yeah, that locks it in place. And they have a lip right here. That's just gonna go right in there and catch it and holds it perfectly in place. And there we go. I can keep all of my minis happy and go lucky. And I have a whole system here. Like I've got my special forces and taller ones here on the bottom. And uh, it's just perfect. They go in real easy. And now for you Legion players out there, I want to point out some of the differences between what you can fit and what kind of pegs you may want if you're thinking about ordering some of these. Because uh, a, a normal set comes with the two inch pegs, which you're seeing here, the three inch pegs. And I think they like the four or five inch or something like they're, they're, they're a lot bigger. They're the bigger ones. Um, and they even have some really big ones that you can get. And those are the ones I'm kind of using in the other one that we looked at. Uh, so, and you can order as many spare pegs as you want. So you can, you know, you can really customize your order. But um, if you're a Legion player, there's some units that won't fit in a two inch peg. Um, because you know, you'll see here, I got a lot of rebel troops. I was going to put all of my rebels in the two inch, but there's some that just won't fit. For example, Wookiees, because look, they're raising the sword up high. Wookiees are not going to fit in there, uh, especially because of that leader. Um, and Boba Fett, Boba Fett's not going to fit on there. He's on a jetpack. Uh, and uh, Luke, not exactly quite right there because he's got the lightsaber up. So Luke's not going to fit in there. And uh, if you have um, any of the fancy, I mean, I'll, probably a lot of people don't have these. Only made 500 of them. But uh, in case you're one of those people that has uh, the, the fancy Vader, or and I'm a, presumably the fancy Obi-Wan, uh, you're not going to be able to fit those in there either. So uh, I would suggest for most and for future proofing, since this seems that three inches seems to be about the height of as tall as they're making most Legion miniatures, uh, I would go for extra three inch pegs if you can manage that uh, to give yourself some extra stuff for Legion. Now for my stormtroopers up here, uh, you can see I have them set up with a three inch peg as well. 
uh, and they don't really need it, but uh, just in case, you know, as I'd only had so many two inch pegs and, uh, you know, if I, if I do get around to ordering more pegs, I might swap these out for a two. And of course, the tighter you make them, the more of a space saver it becomes, which is really cool. And also, I want you to see this too, the, uh, the, the whole system underneath. So when I pull these out too, you can see the system that's underneath is still that reinforced system. You still have this crossbar system here to keep everything really sturdy. Uh, and so it's not ever going to be wobbly. I've got, you know, what, four racks in here? It doesn't move at all. It's, it, now it's heavy with all these miniatures in there, that's for sure. Um, I will say this. Uh, if you're going to pick this up to carry it, uh, make sure... First off, if you're building it, make sure all your drawers are on the same side. I built it accidentally because it is so modular. You can totally build one backwards and then, it, you know, have a little accident. But if you're carrying something like this where they're all full, uh, you want to make sure you kind of tilt it at a slight angle so that none of these drawers come out. If you've ever, like, tried to carry a file cabinet before, you know, you know that drawers can slide out. So, uh, you know, just to prevent a disaster, just keep that in mind. And the top row does not slide out because, well, I think the, the idea is that, well, you don't really need, you can, you have easy access to your top row, so you don't really need, like, I can put the taller, the speeder bikes, and the do-backs, and the tauntauns, and all that stuff. I can put all that stuff on the top without having to worry about it. So, that's pretty cool. But let me show you now, I'm going to show you what I've done with all of my new Magna Racks and the old Magna So, the Magna Rack sliders and the old Magna Racks. All right, so I've got a, just a standard bookshelf here that I just had a couple of uh, board games and then some terrain on, and I've kind of rearranged a couple of things. And uh, this is just, I feel like this has allowed me to be a lot more efficient, even though right now I have some empty space. Now, Clone Wars for Legion just came out, so I've got some empty space here on the top. Uh, I've got all of my Separatists here on this one, so if I'm going to play Separatists, I can just take this whole sheet and go. It's real easy right now to take an entire army and go. Uh, very, very simple right now. Um, same thing for, for the, uh, for the Jedi and the clones, right? They're all ready to go. And there was a terrain piece that was not magnetized sitting on there. As you can see, not magnetized, it falls off. I, yeah, I'm taking my, all my clones. I'm, I'm doing them upside down right now. Can you believe that? I'm doing my clones upside down. Nothing happens, right? Real, real safe. They go in real easy. I'm doing it one-handed, right? You don't even have to like, there's no uh, this crazy precision. Now off to the left-hand side, or the right-hand side, um, my right, maybe your left, I don't know. <laughs> maybe you're watching upside down. Uh, but yeah, so I've got the old Magnarax right here. Now I have my biggest pegs on these because, hey, if I do need to put vehicles or something like that in here, um, I've got plenty of room. I've even got an old magnet that's still on there. <laughs> that's how good, like, it's hard to get the magnet off. It's, 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 I can move it around. I have to get some tweezers and uh, pluck that sucker up. But yeah, so I've got, uh, you know, and I can put some odds and ends over there. I can put my Commander Krabok from Mel Miniatures over there, and then I can put my, my uh, Dawutan Jedi over here, you know, so any, any custom stuff that's not Legion or whatever, I can just sit over there for RPG stuff. Um, and let's, let's go down a little bit. Let's go down to here. Okay. Now we're going down some more. You see, now I've got multiple shelves. Now this is only two shelves, but you can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shelves fit within two shelves. And there is so much more room too. Like I could totally do a lot more, but, but you see over here now I have, I've got some, uh, you know, all my big vehicles over here. And again, they can go on top. No problem. These, you know, the tanks and the snow speeders and the ATSTs, all that stuff can go on top there. Easy, nice and organized. I can take this if I need to. Uh, now, the advantage to the old racks, though, is that there's no problem in putting them in sideways. Because with, with these, that is one thing. You're kind of kind of restricted into, hey, you've got to put them in long ways. Um, if you wanted to slide these out, you know, you're not going to be able to do that if you put them in sideways. So that's, you know, that, so that's a really good thing. And the fact that I can fit a long ways and a sideways in a standard, like this is a, a bookshelf from Target or Walmart or something like that. It's just a standard bookshelf. So... These are going to fit in a standard bookshelf, no problem. Uh, you got extra room. You can put terrain or cards or whatever on the side. Or if you've got, if you've already got the regular Magnus uh, racks, you can put the regular Magna racks sideways. They are going to stick out a few inches, uh, but small price to pay for like tremendous levels of organization. And I have to be organized with all of these minis, otherwise I just can't can't function. So hey, I'm going to play Rebels today. Let's go. Oh, you know what else is cool? You know what else is really cool? Check this out. So let's say I want to play Rebels, right? Uh, maybe I'm going to go play for a couple hours. Uh, I might want to play Rebels 
and I might want to play uh, clones. You know what I can do? Check this out. I can just come up to here, pull out my separatists. I don't need my separatists there anymore. Slide in my clones, or slide in my rebels. Now I've got rebels and clones, and I can take this whole thing. I can pull this whole tray out. Of course, you know, I just had it out on the table. We were looking at it there, so it comes out real easy. They also sell bags for these that you you can wrap them up and, and transport if you've got to fly, if you're going to a tournament or something like that. So you can, you can throw them in a bag. Uh, I don't have any of those bags, so I can't comment on them. But, uh, but yeah, so these totally slide out and fit. It doesn't matter which one you want to put wherever. They're all the exact same size and they fit perfectly. So I can rearrange as I see fit. Very, very easy. All right, guys. So that was my review of the Magnarack sliders. I think they're awesome. I think they're awfully convenient. And they fixed pretty much all of the things that weren't perfect about the original Magnarack. So amazing product very glad to have it and it came just in time for legion clone wars which is really great because i have two whole new factions that i needed to find storage a storage solution for and a way to stay organized and they're totally providing that so uh you know i'm super happy about this uh now they're probably not going to be for everybody because it's a very expensive storage solution compared to just getting some pluck foam and throwing them in there uh battle foam has got a lot of different stuff they've got a lot of foam options as well i'm not personally a big foam person uh but just because i don't know I, like i feel like over time as much use as i put i feel like it, there may be some rub that goes on with foam i've never really been a, in, big into foam so i really like it th that they're just able to kind of stand freely and also that they function as display so you can like travel with these and it's a display piece it's just like it's perfect i just it's absolutely everything i was looking for now the really really cheap version would be to just get like a, a cookie sheet and then put your, if you magnetize, put your stuff on a cookie sheet and bring those out. And that's perfectly fine. I did something like that the first time. But if you want to, you know, kind of pick up your game a little bit and elevate your, uh, you know, your display capabilities with it as well, uh, these are just a fantastic option for you. So if you can afford it, uh, you know, the uh, check out the Magnarack sliders. In my opinion, way superior to the original Magnarax. A fantastic product for all of your miniatures games if you magnetize. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, be sure to check out my links for all my social media in the end uh, description in the description box below. And uh, check out Battle Foam as well. They got some great stuff. So uh, I'm always looking forward to seeing what else new they have when I run into them at conventions. And, uh, or check out their website. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.